the audacity that they're asking me for money. Like, girl, I'm sick as f Let's. Hey boo, how are you? It's been a long time since I've made a video and talked to you guys. My best week went through a lot this past few weeks that's why i was able to reach out so but as you can see i'm still pretty much alive as you can see my wound's still there is it better well um, yeah i think it is my skin has been very dry lately i think it's like one of the side effects of the medications that i'm taking so with that being said i am prepping my skin like extra like moisturizing it and putting serums and stuff like that before I'm gonna put on this makeup. This is actually like the first time in forever that I'm putting on makeup again. So this, um, wish me luck, it's like the first day, okay? I actually got back home from the hospital in the first week of August, I say. Yeah, and I wasn't able to update you guys because after that, it was a shit show, okay, I'm telling you. I'd like to thank everyone who has been reaching out to me, sending me DMs and everything. I really appreciate you guys. So when I got home, I was able to check in my mailbox and the first thing that I found was this post from my previous employer. Inside was a termination letter. Yes, so they terminated me even though I was on sick leave, so. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> Just to give you guys a little insight, I'm actually taking, or I've been taking four kinds of antibiotics every day. And on top of that, some blood thinner injections. So yeah, it's, it's tough to imagine how frustrating it is for me. Like on one side, I need to find a new job because I need to pay the bills. And on the other side, I cannot work because of my condition. And it just f***ed me up. The other thing that has been giving me a very difficult time are the side effects of the medications that I've been taking. It's like, you know, for example, I get so nauseous and I have body malay and I can just get so tired. I've got muscle cramps, I've got stomach cramps. There was a time when I wasn't able to eat for the entire week, no kidding, because I just kept vomiting and no food just comes in. I lost like three kilograms in just one week. So I went to my doctor again and then he let me have like two days break from the, taking the medications. And then afterwards we started with the lower dose and then slowly increasing it until I reached the normal dose that's in the treatment plan. Apparently my body really needed that break from all those medications because right now I'm on the usual, I mean the original medication plan and I'm taking the same, you know, the dosages that I needed to take and I'm feeling okay. I'm not, I haven't been experiencing the same side effects. If I did, some, you know, sometimes I get, I get dizzy all of a sudden and I fall asleep and stuff like that, but it's not as worse as before so so luckily i'm covered by my health insurance i'm getting money from them like a percentage of what i've i used to earn before i'm leaving off that right now actually that's another reason why i opened a merch store because i already had a feeling that something's terrible is gonna happen with my previous employer that they're just gonna kick me out. Even though my partner told me that they're not allowed to do that, like legally, because I'm on my sick leave and I've got the papers, the medical certificates and all that. But then again, I we talked to the lawyer and he actually said they actually have the right to do that. I know it's kind of immoral. If you're gonna ask me, it's unethical that they did that. But legally, they're allowed to do that because I'm still in the probationary area. So, well, again, another thing that bothered me is that they sent me another mail, well, another post, which states in the letter that I needed to pay them 800 something euros back because they sent me more than I should have earned, you know, my salary. And I was like, why? It's like the same amount of money that I've been, that they've been sending me. I was on sick leave and I'm covered the main insurance because so that's why I was wondering like, why would I pay them back for that amount of money? It's like 800 something. And then they minus that amount from the salary that they were supposed to give me in the month of August. 
So that means I didn't get any money. So it's like they minus like 600 plus or something. And that means I needed to pay them 200 something euros more. It's like I need to pay them back instead. You know, like wh wh where would they get money? Just imagine I'm at home very weak because I've been vomiting my guts out, wasn't able to eat anything, I hadn't had any intake. And then I get this message from them that I owe them money. And I was expecting that I'm gonna get my my salary or something, my last salary from them, you know, because they kicked me out. They terminated me even though I'm on sick leave. And I'm like, okay, that's, that would be understandable. Okay, fine. I was in my probationary period. But then the audacity that they're asking me for money. Like, girl, I'm sick as f I lost my job. What do you expect from me? Then I was like, okay, we, uh, maybe I'm just gonna wait for my insurance first and wait for them to send me my money and we'll see from there. So it was like already the first week of September and the wedding holiday, but I haven't heard from my previous employer anymore. And I haven't heard from my insurance as well. And I keep on checking with my bank account. There's no money. So I called my insurance. I called the insurance company and asked what's going on, you know. We let my partner talk with my insurance company over the phone because it's German and it would be, you know, faster that way. We asked how come I still haven't received my insurance money yet. And then the lady over the phone said they still wasn't able to receive my payment slip my employer and I said we I'm unemployed they kicked me out and I just said yeah because supposedly if they kick me out the employer is obliged to send me insurance the latest payment slip that I've had because they need to look at how much I've been earning and they're gonna base the insurance money that they're gonna send me from that from there apparently they didn't do that I said okay I can send you the copy of my latest payment slip because they sent me that and then um like she said they're supposed they're not allowed to do that i mean i'm not allowed to do that but i can but they're not supposed to receive that from me they're not supposed to receive that from my previous employer she said but i can still send it so that it can expedite things you know so i did exactly that and then i called my employer i myself called employer I asked them to clarify things and, you know, tell me what the hell is going on. Like, why do I need to pay them back? They don't have anything. You know, they took my job away and stuff like that. I said there was no lacking, um, you know, days. I mean, information and stuff. Everything's, everything's supposed to be there. And I said, I'm not going to pay them. And she was like, yeah, and if that's the case, we're the ones who's supposed to pay you. And I said, yes, please. Thank you so much. Because, you know. I need money. A few days ago when I checked my bank account, my insurance money is already there. So, thank God. I still haven't heard from my previous employer. I'm not thinking about that much anymore. As long as I don't need to pay them that money that they're asking for me because I don't have that, you know. And why would I pay the money? I don't owe them anything, you know. People are telling me that I should focus more on healing. But then again, it's, you know, frankly speaking, it's difficult to heal when there are a lot of other factors that are, you know, going on. If I can do my makeup again, that means I may be able to work again as well. You know, it's not like the same physical exertion, but, <laughs> you know, it's like a start. Because before, I could hardly even sit up straight for a very long time. Yeah, so I think it's a progress. So that's it. So this is actually just the base makeup boot. I actually have like um, some looks to create because I've got like, <laughs> some unboxing videos to do. So yeah, I'm gonna keep myself busy. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.